morning. My name is Brent Gove. I am excited to be here today to tell you about eXp Realty. Now, before I kind of get into the details and what it's about, why everyone's so excited, why it's the fastest growing model in the country today, I want to tell you a real quick, just a little bit about me, a little bit of background about your speaker here. I've been in real estate for 25 years. My first 12 years were at Remax. My next eight years were at Keller Williams. I really uh, liked both companies greatly. And then I joined eXp four years ago. And what I'm about to tell you is what happened over the past four years. The greatest business decision of my life. It's like being at Apple when they started, being at Google when they started, Facebook, um, YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, in the beginning, those, those people, it's pretty special. So let's get into what eXp is all about. Now, in order to tell the story, I have to tell you about this man, Glenn Sanford. Once in a while, there's that special person that comes along. What I mean by that is there's 2 million agents and brokers uh, throughout the US and Canada. But everybody has ideas on how to do it better, but he not only conceptualized the idea, he created eXp Realty and built it out. Today it exists, it's a cloud-based brokerage. It exists with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of support staff and employees for the agents, for our broker associates. And it, to, to kind of explain the whole cloud-based thing, I mean, you're all familiar with Netflix is a great example. This is a cloud-based solution to a brick and mortar problem. Uh, Blockbuster didn't think it was a problem. They were doing five billion a year. They were the 800 pound gorilla. They took out everybody, remember? I mean, it's like a McDonald's or a Starbucks in every quarter and a Blockbuster. And they were at the height of their strength when Netflix came along, tried to sell their idea to Blockbuster. What a perfect company to buy it. They made the biggest $50 million, like a, I mean, they're a $5 billion company. 50 million I heard is what they offered it. They passed. And so Netflix went and did what they said they could do, point and click, get a movie without having to drive down to Blockbuster and run a movie, and half the time they're out. And so guess what? You know the rest of the story. Netflix took over. You look at Amazon. It started with books. Uh, last year, the year before, they put out 8,000 major retail chains. Largest corporation in the world. They employ more people than any other company in the world. A truly uh, Cinderella story. And then you got EXP Realty taking on traditional brokerages, shaking it up, doing it differently. I mean, isn't that what Uber and Lyft did to Yellow Cab? Isn't that what Travelocity and Truvago did to your travel agent? How about iTunes and uh, Pandora and YouTube? People could do digital downloads of music instead of going to the record store. Remember a record store? Some of, the, some of you don't even know what I'm talking about. But technology has always been there and it's speeding up. And you could either be a part of it or get left behind. So eXp has got an amazing story of success. And there's really four pillars of eXp. Number one is leads. We help agents with leads. You need leads. You can have great training. But if you don't have leads, you're done. So we actually start with leads. I worked at uh, Remax 12 years. I think I got three leads in 12 years. I went to Keller Williams for eight years. I don't think I ever got a lead from Keller Williams in eight years. Now they said, well, we teach you how to fish. I get that. But what if we teach you how to fish too and give you leads? What's wrong, what's wrong with combining the two? Uh, that's pretty powerful when you combine the two. So we're not gonna necessarily give you the leads, but we're gonna give you tools to help you get anywhere from 60 to 100 leads a month on top of what it is, whatever it is you currently do. So I'm gonna get into that more, so hang in there. But the four pillars, again, leads, and then there is training and education, and then there is stock, ownership, equity, um, and then the fourth pillar is revenue share. Again, leads, uh, training and education, stock awards, and revenue share. Those are the four pillars of the EXP. It's why it's the fastest growing model in the world. And now we're gonna get into the details, kind of into the weeds of what all that means. Pillar number one, lead generation. I've never experienced it in 20 years. EXP actually helps in that area. We work with a company called KV Core. Google them. K is in Kevin, V is in Victory, Core is in the Marine Corps. Look them up, watch their demos. Incredible. People pay $600 a month for this platform all day, every day for one year. That's a lot of money. Every EXP agent gets one for our $50 a month tech fee. $600 a month on your own or 50 a month with eXp. They also get a Regis Corporate Suite membership. They also get Skyslope. They also get Breakthrough Broker. All four things for our 50 a month tech fee. So the cool thing, uh, lead generation, 
Again, KV Core, once you learn, get it set up, and it does require a marketing budget. We give you the Ferrari, we give you a, a highly turned, tuned BMW or Mercedes, but you gotta put the gas in. Marketing dollars is the gas. You need to spend at least about $250. It's optional, you do not have to. But if you're willing to spend $250 a month marketing your website that eXp is gonna give you, a KV Core website, most of our agents see anywhere from 60 to 80 to 100 leads a month. Well, at 100 leads a month, honestly, it's two to three leads a day is pretty much what you're gonna get. A lead at 10, a lead at four, maybe a lead at six. And you're probably gonna sell a home a month or two. And if you're brand new, it may take you a month or two to sell a home or two. But you call, it's getting you to the plate. You're swinging the bat, swinging the bat, swinging the bat. And when you get good, I've had people sell two, three, four homes their first month. That is a big deal. So on top of whatever you're doing, well, I don't like internet lead connection conversion. You know why? You've probably never done it. But if you just, just quickly return them, call them back in 60 seconds, the speed that you return that call, you're going to get a listing. You're going to put a buyer in escrow. And in a lot of markets, that's like a 10000 a month deal. And if you do 12 of those in 12 months, that's an additional 120000 a year for your family. So leads, pillar number one, is huge. And we help with that at eXp Realty. Now, the next one is training and education. We do live events. Here's a huge one we did here in Sacramento. They're the biggest events in Sacramento. Great stuff. We want to refine the agent. We want to build in assets and equity and, and help and really make them better at luxury real estate, at commercial real estate, at hiring the first assistant or the first buyer's agent or building a team. We work on it just like everybody else does, but we are after it. But they're showing up to our stuff. They're not, I asked the title reps and the home warranty. Who else is doing that? Nobody. And so we are boom and it's very exciting. Plus we do virtual training. We have 10 to 15 live classes a day. You could raise your hand in the world, in the virtual world, and you can interrupt the commercial guy talking about commercial, the contract review broker doing contract review in your state. Hey, I have a question. I don't understand liquidated damages. What about arbitration? What about a notice to perform? Is it 24 hours? Is it 48 hours? Do the weekends count? You know, all that kind of stuff. We have this in the world 10 to 15 times a day. If you want to be learning based, and you should, you could invert that learning curve and get good fast. Isn't that excellent English? And if you get good fast, you're gonna sell more homes and selling more homes will change the life of your husband, your wife, your children. It's a part of making your dreams come true or you could suffer, your choice. Long and slow, don't learn, go to a few classes here or there or really start plugging in, challenging yourself. Staying in the realm of being uncomfortable. Even come to EXP, it's always uncomfortable. When I left Remax and went to Keller Williams, it was uncomfortable. When I left Keller Williams and went to EXP, it was a little bit uncomfortable. But every time it was better for my career. So I want to challenge you to take the next step in the evolution of your real estate process. And I'm telling you, it's EXP. So we have leads, we have training. Both are vital at EXP. And this leads to production. This leads to sales volume. This leads to being successful in leading in your city and in your state. Four years ago, the first sign panel was me. There was no production. I helped bring production. You will help bring production to your city. Coldwell Banker had to start somewhere. Remax had to start somewhere. Keller Williams had to start somewhere. And EXP is starting somewhere, but they're going to take over. They are the next big thing in the market and they're going to have a 10, 15, 20 year run, no problem, maybe 30 years because they're the only company in the world making their agents owners, which is the third pillar, the stock and the equity. Probably one of the most exciting pillars. Honestly, I didn't understand it four years ago. I didn't understand the value. It's something that our children can inherit. It's called equity. It's called stock. It's called appreciation. Uh, I have friends that started with Yahoo and became like multi, multi, multi millionaires. They were there at the beginning. I had friends who started with UPS and became millionaires through the stock at UPX. We've heard about micro Microsoft billionaires and Facebook billionaires, the people that were there, and you're at the beginning of a movement. You're, are you too late? We have 2% of, of, of the market. There's 45,000 of us. You're at the beginning of a wave. 
You like our stock at 45,000? Wait till we have a quarter of a million. And all that revenue and profitability comes in. The stock may go up, it may go down. I'm not really not allowed to say what it's gonna do. And past performance is no guarantee of future performance, but they're stock awards. You don't have to buy it. They're gonna give it to you for hitting certain sales metrics as follows. When you sponsor someone at eXp, when they close their first sale, you get stock. You know, at, at uh, Remax, I watched Dave Linegar become a billionaire. At Keller Williams, I watched Gary Keller become a billionaire. At eXp over the past four years, I watched Glenn Sanford become a multi-billionaire. I became a multi-millionaire. That's the difference. That didn't happen at my prior two companies. And I'm watching this happen to everybody, not just me. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. I have some people just have 30,000, 80,000, 180, half a million, a million. They are thrilled. It doesn't matter what they have, they're excited. Uh, I get trophies and plaques for 20 years. At EXP, we give those out too, but we also give you an equity position. It's a big deal. You're gonna earn stock awards through sales metrics. When you cap, our cap is 16,000 EXP, you get stock. If you refer an agent and they join EXP, you get stock. Uh, someone says, is there a limit to how many people I refer? No, so I can refer 10 people and get 10 stock awards? Yep, I referred 40, over 40 in my first 10 months, I got 40 stock awards. Could I refer 60? You can refer as many as you want. The bigger you help EXP grow, the more they bring you in in that ownership equity position through the shares of stock. It's a big deal. And you think, well, I'm not a recruiter. That's like saying you're not a listing agent. You're a listing agent if you decide to be a listing agent. You just have to learn how to do it. I was 10 years in before I made that decision. It's the highest form of leverage is recruiting. First it's buyers. Then it's listings. We all know listings have babies. They spin off sign calls, internet leads, family, friends, neighbors, coworkers. And then you build a team and you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 agents and you get paid 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 times a month. And then you buy a franchise. But the ultimate form of leverage is recruiting. So stop saying you're not a recruiter. I will help you recruit. The person who buy you, let's put a pretty word on it. We'll call it attract. We'll call it sponsor. At Keller Williams, we call it sponsoring people. You sponsor a child in Africa to eat. We do that too. So if that makes you happier, let's put a friendlier word on it and call it sponsor. I'm going to help you. The person who's having you watch it, you're going to get help. You may not be wondering if you could do it, but I'm telling you, we'll help you do it. And it pays major dividends for you and your family. This company is growing like crazy. And that is what we're talking about here. Equity opportunities. And then finally, there's an Icon Agent Award. If you cap and do 20 sales, you, you can earn up to 16,000 a year. You do have to show up to our shareholder event and sign in. It's virtual, it's pretty easy to do. You teach a class once a year in the cloud, super easy to do. What are you good at? LinkedIn, you get at video marketing, social media, offer a class. If five people show up, great. If 500 people show up, great. It's virtual. I didn't have to pay for the hall. You don't have to pay for that stuff. Big money, not a DXP. We're highly efficient. And then finally, we have an optional agent equity program. Our founder, Glenn Sanford, actually created a program for the agents to have equity. I mean, think of all the other farms, Coldwell Banker, Century 21, Remax, Independence, big firms. Did they create an agent equity program? Like, how do we get our agents to have equity? Tell me about your agent equity program. Tell me about it. Probably doesn't exist. Uh, Right? Let's be honest. So here's ours. It's optional. You don't have to do it, but you could sign up, set it and forget it. 5% of every closing gets to buy EXPI stock. That's our moniker, EXPI. Watch it, track it. We're publicly traded on the NASDAQ, but you get a 10% discount. And so that's pretty cool. And you can acquire a lot of stock this way. And we've been growing and growing. All right, here we go. So here's our fourth and final pillar. For me, it was the most exciting pillar. For years and years and years, I referred people to Remax. I got Starbucks gift cards, and um, I think I might have got dinner or lunch one time and a couple weekend trips to Ensenada, those $299 weekend cruises. In 12 years, that was it. And that's fine, I didn't care, that's how it worked. I go to Keller Williams, they have profit sharing. I refer 55 people, I start getting a little profit sharing. The, they would help create profit in the particular franchise they went to. If the franchise was profitable, I'd get a little bit of profit share. It was averaging like 700 a month, so that was pretty cool. But let me talk to you about our fourth pillar. It's a powerful pillar. It's why I left my brokerage that I loved. I didn't like Keller Williams, I loved it. And I, once I understood this, I had to leave. You gotta listen close. So here's how it works. This is the $16,000 cap at eXp. What Glenn Sanford did that was absolutely brilliant is he saved the first $2,800 on top 
for the referring agent. So if you sponsor somebody, and we'll call you the referring agent, and you sponsor them, if they cap, you get $2,800. Now in Sacramento, our average price is $400,000, so you sell about seven homes to cap, typically, okay? So what if an agent only sells like three or four homes, like a half cap, then you get half the $2,800, you get $1,400. Every time there's a closing, say here, in the month of pick a month in July, the following month, August 22nd, there's revenue share. If there's closing in January, the following month, February 22nd, the 22nd of the following month, there is revenue share. So it's pretty great. So let me explain how this works. If you tell five or more people about eXp, they unlock tier two. They're gonna compensate you even more. Not only do you get the 2800, now you get 3200. If you tell 10 or more about eXp, you sponsor, you refer, you attract, whatever word you wanna put on it, you actually unlock the third tier. It's compensation for contribution. Try that at your local company. Go send 10, 15, 20, 30 agents to your local company. Would they benefit from that? Absolutely, if they're productive agents, big time. How are you compensated? Most companies cannot compensate you because they're in literally bricks and mortar. They got to heat, cool, insure, turn the lights on, a janitorial coffee, phone systems and copiers and front desk people and tenant improvements and technology and computers. It's a massive overhead over. They, they really can't. They're barely making it in most cases as it is. So here at eXp, it grows in increments of five till you get to 25. You refer 25 people and like six generations, six tiers. This is copied from Keller Waves. I've been doing it 25 years, except their profit share. And you, can't, you don't know what that's going to be. You can refer somebody who sells 60 homes a year, but if the franchise you refer them to is not making money, there is no profit to share. That's how profit sharing works. It's kind of brilliant actually, but at eXp, we don't have the overhead, so we're just clean revenue share off the top. It's a beautiful thing. If you get to 40, it actually unlocks tier seven. I did that in like 10 months, and I get you get you get 4,000 an agent unlimited. James, when we got there, I think we were 10 months in, would we have like uh, 10 people who were capping agents? Yep. So that's 10 times four, that's 40,000 a year from just one of our seven levels. It took 10 months to get there. Well, it might take me two years to get there, okay. Two years. It might take me five years. Great, let's get you there. How would you like to make 40,000 a year from just one of your seven levels? And then there's level six, all, all that through. Let's say that you tell 10 agents this year, I'll help you do it. The person who is having you watch this or watching it with you will help you do it. You get 2,800 per person. Remember, Glenn um, Sanford reserved the 2,800, that first little bit of the 16,000 for you. So if you help 10 people do it, you get 10 times 2,800. If they're capping agents, that's 28,000, okay? Now, if you help them each duplicate what you did, tell Ted, I'm gonna say in this example, and it says example, in the next five years, you help each of those tell 10. That means they tell two people a year for five years, that's 10. And if 10 people tell 10, it gives you 100. And remember, it's 3,200 per agent, unlimited on that level. How many agents do we have on that level today? A lot of agents. Well, in this case, we're saying just 100 times 3,200, that's 320,000. They're capping agents. And you think, well, that's the trick. How do you do that? I set a goal to talk to agents who sold at least 10 homes a year. And so they were all capping agents. And yes, if they only sell two or three homes in, in your market, maybe that's half a cap, it'd be 1,600, right? But you get the idea. So 320 plus 28, there's 348,000 a year outside of real estate. So how long have you been in real estate? 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I have friends who have been doing it over 40, 45 years. How much cash flow do you have coming in outside of real estate? For those of you that you're thinking, well, I already make 700, a million dollars a year, a million five, 348,000 is a pay cut. Remember, this was just with you telling 10. I told 40 in my first 10 months. So I ended up with quadruple this number, okay? So you do the numbers. Also, this is just showing two, uh, of our tiers, two of our tiers. So what we have here is a seven tier system. When these kick in three, four, five, six, seven, it can be a lot more. For example, I said earlier, it took me about 10 months to get to the, the seventh tier and I had, we had 10 people there that were capping, which was 40,000 a year. But then I think a year later, what do we have about 400? Yep. And, and then a year after that, probably 
eight or nine hundred. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, Sound about right. Yeah. How many? How about this? this is more exciting. You ready? Yeah. My operations manager is here in the room today watching this. James Stroop, my operations manager. How many agents and broker associates do we have on my seventh tier today? We have two thousand two hundred and twenty. 2,220, let's just say 1,000 of them cap. They're in a market where they have to sell six, seven, eight homes a year to cap, 1,000 of those cap. You get 4,000 uh, an agent, unlimited. So if there's 1,000, well, let's just do 100 to make the math easy, that's 400,000. Then multiply that times 10, uh, then you can get to some pretty crazy numbers, and that's just one of the seven levels. There's a reason Dave Leniger's a billionaire, and Gary Keller's a billionaire, and Berkshire have at Warren Buffett. Of course, he made his billions before then, but there's a reason there's big money in real estate. You can do some great things if you want to build a large, flourishing sales organization with me, with the person who brought you here. We will all help you, even if you're not in my group. One team, one dream, Team EXP, because your success, even if you're not in my seven tiers, benefits me greatly because EXP will do well if you do well. And I own stock in EXP. We own this baby together. This is the first agent-owned, agent-led, everyone says agent-centric, but agent-owned, agent-led worldwide effort. I'm telling you, let me tell you right now, straight up. In the next 10 years, we're gonna have a million agents in 100 countries in the next 10 years. This is going to happen. My thought four years ago was I can do this. I, at least I think I can do it. At least I'm gonna try. And so I left the company I love, Keller Williams, to try to do this. Six months later, I'd done it. I told 10 in my first like 12 weeks, that's like one a week almost. And within six months, they'd all told 10. It didn't take five years, it took six months. Now it may take you five years, it may take you 10 years, I don't know. We're all different. The average agent sells six. You may sell 16 homes a year, you may say 116 homes a year. We're all different. It's, it's up to the work ethic and what you put into it, but I'm going to help you do it. The person who brought you here, who's watching, will help you do it. There's a whole team of people. They're gonna help you do this. Let's go worst case. You can't do it. The split's 80-20, the cap's 16 grand, and you win some stock awards for sales production. That's worst case. I don't know, that doesn't sound so bad to me. And if I, but, if, but what if I don't like it? Then go back to the brokerage you came from. And they're gonna go, look, if you come back, we'll put you at 100% for a year and here's a free office. And they're gonna parade you around. Look, he tried EXP, it didn't work. You will make money even if you fail at EXP, you're gonna make money because your old brokerage is gonna recruit you back or somebody will on a high split, a free office, probably even promise you some leads. Now, one great point, what Glenn Sanford did this last year, which is absolutely brilliant and why the stock is skyrocketing, is he kicked in the 50-50 initiative. And what the 50-50 initiative is, he guaranteed to take half of all the revenues of eXp and pay it out to the agents through revenue share. So for example, if he brings in two billion in revenues, a billion goes to the agents this year. That's you, that's me, agents and broker associates. Very exciting. And as our company grows and thrives, those numbers can explode. In other words, I'm telling you, it's possible that you actually get paid more than we're showing you on the board. Very exciting. I love the 50-50 initiative. So who do you talk to about EXP? Anyone throughout the US and Canada? And anyone in nine countries? There they are, Canada. We're in nine provinces of Canada. We're in the UK. We're in uh, South Africa. We're in Mexico. Um, we're in Australia, we're in Portugal, we're, we're opening in, I think we just opened in France. We just opened Puerto Rico, I know that. Uh, Brazil, uh, Italy, Hong Kong, there's talk of Malaysia, the Philippines, other countries. Um, don't know if they'll open this year or not, but I actually believe, I would not be surprised if we open nine additional countries this year. We're currently in nine. That'll put us in 18 countries worldwide. Why was it not a big deal for me when Coldwell Banker International, because my folks worked there for 25 years. They were 55 year real estate brokers. I'm a second generation real estate guy. Why, it didn't mean anything to me. It was good for Coldwell Banker, but not me or my parents, Coldwell Banker agents. When Remax went worldwide, it was kind of cool. Hey, Remax is around the globe. But what did it mean to me in Sacramento, California? The answer is it meant nothing. Maybe bragging rights. Same thing, Keller Williams began to explain globally. That's awesome. Profit share is calculated from your local office, if you sponsor an agent, is that particular franchise profitable, not Keller Williams International, what they're doing around the globe. So what it means to you is nothing. But what it means, I mean, it may be make you proud about your company and some bragging rights, but at EXP, if an agent in West Palm Beach is killing it,
If an agent in Denver or Bozeman, Montana or Seattle or British Columbia or Victoria or Ontario or Calgary or Hong Kong or Italy is killing it, it makes eXp more valuable. And it means everything to you and to me because you are a shareholder. Instead of a trophy and a plaque, and by the way, we give out trophies and plaques and recognition too, but is it terrible to get a stock award? I know four years ago when I joined eXp, a guy from New Jersey, you know all those guys are from New York and the Bronx and New Jersey, he's like, it's a gimmick. You know, I try to do my best New Jersey accent. It's a gimmick. I go, what do you mean? Is that $16,000 stock award? I paid in 16, they give me a 16,000. He goes, you don't know what that'll be worth in, it's three year vesting, you can't touch it for three years. We copied Keller Williams profit sharing, they have three year vesting, so we have, it's brilliant by the way. And he goes, you don't know what it's worth. I'd rather have a check. And I kind of thought at the same time, I think I would too, because I'm, I'm more, I'm a, I am come from a real estate family. We buy real estate. We flip homes. We invest in real estate. We're not big stock market people. And so I, at the time, I'm thinking, yeah, I think you, I come with him. I think I would have rather have my 16 grand back. But EXP, thank you, Glenn Sanford. You know what? He, he gave me stock. He said, someday, we may not be something now. It was a penny stock. We were not on the NASDAQ. But someday, we're going to be something. And, and I asked him, I said, who do you work for? He said, Berkshire Hathaway. I go, well, do you have any stock awards or anything? He goes, nope. And I go, so if you sell, if you cap and do 20 sales, and the guy was selling like 35 homes a year, so he would have capped and qualified for Icon Award. You, what do you get? He goes, well, nothing. I go, that sounds like more of a gimmick to me. <laughs> you know, I'll take the $16,000 stock award and hope for the best. Five years ago, I paid X to Keller Williams. 15 years ago, I paid X to Remax. I never got it back not even the face value, didn't expect to. You pay, your broker's gotta make something. At eXp, we make you a part of the process. A rising tide rises all ships. It is amazing. You need to check it out. In fact, once you understand the equity position of an agent or broker associate at eXp, and you understand the revenue sharing component, and the training, the education, Regis and open the spaces, KB Core, the lead generation, um, our production goes, sales volume, we care about the client, we serve the client, by training the agent at the highest possible level and pouring into the agent, making them better. Remax never did a thing for those 400 clients that I sold in one year. It was myself and my team that did all the marketing. We served the clients. And when we came to Keller Williams in 2009, Keller Williams did nothing for my clients. Your brokerage doesn't, you, they, they list with you, you work at Century 20 or Coldwell. Coldwell said she wasn't doing anything. You do the work as the agent or broker. Sir. That level of service you gave at Century 21 if you move to Sotheby's or Christie's or Remax, you gave the same several. Remax is not going to do anything for your client. And so this is the way you got to understand at eXp. It's the whole picture. It's very exciting. And as we grow internationally, it's a big deal for you. Again, a raising tide rises all ships. And so I, maybe the way I could put it is this way. It, it, all brokerages, everybody helps people in the United States with the dream of, of home ownership. But the difference is, we also help agents with the dream of retirement. So Workplace, the back office, shows you all your escrows, shows you what's closing, when it's closing, if the file is clear, if you have stock, how much stock you have, when it's vested, what has vested, what you could push a button and sell out of your E-Trade account or a Meritrade account. And then this is a great, if you're watching this at home, at your office, wherever you're watching this, get your camera out, take a screenshot of this. This is a summary sheet of how eXp functions. I paid desk fees, royalty fees, and franchise fees for decade after decade, for over 20 years. I put 12 years into Remax, as you know, eight years into Keller Williams, as you know, both world-class franchises, great companies, wonderful people. But I paid desk fees, royalty fees, and franchise fees for years and years and years, decade after decade. I come to eXp, it's a national and international real estate company. You can't buy an eXp franchise, they're not for sale. You can't buy your way in but you can build your way in. Think, well, I don't want to recruit anybody. Don't. I have agents that have just simply changed where they sold their real estate, one stock award after stock award, and have $3 million worth of stock today. That is a big deal by changing where you sell your real estate. And so here's the split. There it is. You want to know? 80-20. Pretty generous. I started 25 years ago on a 50-50. Anybody else? Maybe a 60-40, 70-30. 
all of our agents start at 80-20 because we don't have the overhead. We can pay you better. If you have more money, you can market your listings more. You can serve the client. You have more money to market your listings and serve the client and serve the client at a higher level because there's more money in your pocket. Now, I meet clients all the time. Well, I'm at an 80-20 at my company. No, you're not. What do you mean? Well, I'm at Coldwell Banker. I'm at Century 21. I'm at Remax, Sotheby's, Christie's, Berkshire Hathaway. Those are all franchises. Every one of them almost without exception, charges a 6% franchise fee. They always go, oh yeah. So you're not at an 80-20, you're at a 74-26. They get 26% of every sale you make, you get 74. At eXp, we're not a franchise. When we say 80-20, it's actually 80-20. And then we make it better. We cap it at 16,000. So say, for example, in your market where your average commission is 10 grand. If they get 20%, that would be two. And then if you do eight sales, what is that? 2002 times eight is 16,000. You capped. So a lot of people cap in like seven, eight, nine sales. They cap. And if they do that in six months, that makes the next six months, they're not on an 80 20, they're at a hundred percent. Your sales manager, your broker, wherever you are, you're not a recruiter, it's gonna distract you. That's like saying you're not a listing agent. No, you should be a listing agent. It's one of one of the highest forms of leverage. You know what the highest form of leverage is? Recruiting. Make no mistake, Dave Linegar got out of showing property and taking listings and production, and he got into the highest form of, uh, of, of leverage called recruiting and built, Remax. And then Gary Keller used to show property and, and take listings. Then he built a small team and had that little independent brokerage with Dave Williams, Keller Williams. Then he bought out Dave, and he got into the highest form of leverage, recruiting. And he went on to build Keller Williams International, of which all of us just worked there. We'd say, man, they're debt free. It's privately owned. It's amazing. That's like saying, I've lived in this home for 25 years. The seller paid it off. It's privately owned. It's debt free. It's amazing. And how much do you have? I never really thought about that, but nothing. It's like, hmm. But, but you don't understand, my landlord will actually clean the pool. He mows and eds the lawn. If I need anything, he takes care of it while you paid off the house. Think about it. We're always telling people to buy assets, buy commercial real estate, buy residential real estate. What do we do? Rent. What do we do? Work for a big franchise. How's that working out for you? How long can you work this hard? How long can you keep going grinding? Well, I love it. I love it. I loved it too. But I tell you what, I had an 18 agent team doing over 100 million a year. Now I'm able to impact a lot more people than 18 agents and serve hundreds. I think this past year we closed. Do we got the numbers for last year? Do you remember the numbers? Closed mortgages, US, Canada, and in the UK and Australia, and there were some South Africa in there. Seven levels, there were 40,207 transactions we closed. 40,207 families served by EXP agents and their families. You learn. If you will learn this model, it's financially irresponsible to be anywhere else. Keep asking questions. Make a commitment to me right now. Here's a commitment I want you to make. Make a commitment to stay in curiosity about the model. Stay where you are. Don't leave right now. Stay, but learn. And you're either going to expose it for what it is, a fraud, or you're going to learn that it's the real deal and you're going to be a part of it. Don't be like me. I resisted Netflix, uh, you know, till Netflix was huge. I, I was like, Amazon, you know, what's that? You know, no way. Um, Uber, I'm not getting in someone's cab, but you know what? Uber succeeded in spite of my ignorance, in spite of my unwillingness to change, because I'm in my 50s and I don't, I don't embrace technology. It's just a miracle that I'm even here. I think a technology is a good cup of coffee and a yellow notepad, but even I can make it an EXP. So it's, it's really cool. So here's our, here's our model, 80-20 split, $16,000 cap, then you go to 100. Startup fees, $149 one time, 85 a month is our cloud brokerage fee, again, 50 is a technology fee, 35 a university educational fee, it's 85 a month. And then there is a $25 broker review fee, and then 40 risk management fee, $40 per sale risk management fee, capped at 500 a year. Now, if, heaven forbid you only sell two homes this year, you only pay 80 bucks. You don't have to pay the balance up to 500. I only sell four homes, and you're gonna pay $160 for your e &O, Arizona emissions to insure in case there is some sort of a problem with the transaction, you have insurance to cover it, like you do auto insurance. If you get a wreck on the freeway, it's covered. And so it's pretty reasonable, and the max is 500 a year. By the way, once you're at 100%, it does kick in a 250 transaction fee. Now, for you big ballers out there that sell 300 homes a year, 600 homes a year, 
you're going to be uh, likely qualified for what's called our Mayor Icon Team Program. You have to have at least 10 agents to over 40 million years in sales and do a minimum of 175 transactions. If you check all those boxes, then you can be offered the Mega Icon Team Program, which is you only pay $75 per transaction, not the 250. Well, that's not fair. They get a better deal than the rest of us. You build what they built, you can have the same deal. It is very fair, fair, because when they do, some of these people do 500. We have teams that do 600, 800, 1,000 deals. We have a team that's going to do a billion dollars this year. They pay $75 a deal. It's very fair. Their team gets health care. By the way, we have health care now. In fact, Cindy, your husband lost his coverage. You went to EXP. You found the coverage had vision and dental. Your other one didn't. And the price was even better. Is that right? Yes. Absolutely. So it's, it's brilliant. Very, very good. So these are our fees. This is our structure. Again, not a franchise. You can't buy your way in. You got to build your way in. And most people would rather write a check for 100 grand, 200 grand. You got to put your chin on the line. You got to talk to people. But I'm telling you what, man, the floodgates are opening. It's very exciting. Now, here's something for you commercial brokers out there. This is exciting. This is like going to change the world of commercial real estate. Ready for this? The split is 80-20. Unheard of. Commercial brokers, 50-50, 60-40, maybe 70-30. The stars, 80-20. Every EXP commercial agent slash broker is 80-20. The cap, there's no cap in commercial, rarely if ever, 20,000 a year. 20,000 a year. Now here's the best part. If you make over 500,000 GCI, they give it back to you in the form of EXPI stock, 20,000 worth of stock. So effectively, what did it cost you to be an EXP? Nothing. Now there's a $250 a month technology fee in commercial, but you get Reonomy, Data Tree, and Build Out Elite. It's a top of the line CRM. I mean, we spared no expense. All three of those for $250 a month. It's crazy good. There is a $350 a month per commercial transaction E&O charge, which maxes at $5,000 a year. And those of you easy E&O brokerages, you could spend 10, 20, 30,000 a year on your e &O, so to max out at 5,000 a year max. And those of you that just do four or five commercial deals a year, big ones with the big commission checks, you're only paying 350 a deal. It's wonderful. Finally, there is a $250 per transaction broker review fee because commercial packages are quite a bit more involved. And so the broker for commercial gets a $250 broker review fee for the package. All in all, it's a great opportunity if you want to build EXP commercial. EXP core values, we have them in spades. My favorite one is fun. I tell you what, EXP, making real estate fun again. We're going to Cabo. We have a thousand people flying in for our mastermind in the tropics. In August, we have Tony Robbins flying in. We have an event. Tony Robbins will be there the third day. It's like 197 bucks for three days. Tony Robbins, the third day for $197. 6,000 of us are going to be there. It's going to be incredible. People from all over the world. So bottom line, if you've seen enough, you're like, I cry uncle. I want to join EXP. Call the person who had you watch this. Tell them, I want to do this. And your next step is to go to join.exprealty.com. Do not go there alone. Go there with the person who had you watch this. Have them help you fill out the onboarding. You get stuck somewhere at times out. You got to start over. If you're like me, that drives you crazy. So it is imperative that you go there with the person who had you watch this. Tell them, Brent Gove says, you have to go here with me and help me onboard. And there's a pot in there where it says sponsor. That's where you put their name, the person who turned you on to this. That's where I put Sheila Fairs around. I literally watch this and she says, are you serious about due diligence? I said, yes. She goes, type this in your browser, join.exprealty.com. I said, yes. And then she says, now you're going to see an EXP Realty application. You're not joining EXP. You're just making application. EXP actually will vet you. They're going to check you out. Then they will send you an approval letter if you pass the test because they're going to see if you've got complaints against you with the Department of Real Estate in your state or province of Canada or wherever you in the world. And as long as your license is clean and in good standing with the local board, they will issue an approval letter saying, well, Welcome to EXP. You're free to move your license when you like, but until you move your license, you're at your old brokerage. This is the next step and you want to do that with the person who invited you here. 
There's Glenn Sanford the day we went on the NASDAQ. Uh, we're up there with Apple and PepsiCo and Intel and Cisco. A very exciting day. Here he is. It was an honor they allowed. There's Glenn in the middle. All the executive board of directors, key people in our company. Um, there he is hitting. The, was, they used to have a closing bell, but it was driving the traders crazy. So they don't have a button and then stuff goes off. It's very exciting. And there's our first day on the NASDAQ. The proof is in the numbers. It is undeniable. And then, of course, there's Tony Robbins. You might know that guy. Um, I've been in real estate for 20 years. I never had Tony show up at any of the events that my prior brokerages were at. But um, uh, we hired Tony to come out and speak. He's going to be there the third day, our final keynote. We think he'll do the job just fine. Amazing guy. Cannot wait to hear Tony Robbins. Over 6,000 people at our event in Dallas. It's at the Gaylord Resort. And then finally, again, just start the process. Make the application. This is how you do your due diligence. You'll get the ICA, Independent Contractors Agreement. Read through it. Get yourself approved. Get that part done. So when you're ready to move, you can move in about 90 seconds. So in closing, what I want to say to you is this. Five years from now, seven years from now, where are you going to be? You can either be at EXP, thriving, winning stock awards and revenue share, making a difference in the world for your family's life, or if you choose to not even try, I'm going to find you. You're going to be running that office. You're going to be at your desk. You're going to be there at seven o'clock at night, trying to get that listing, working with that buyer, kind of chasing your tail, just, you know, doing what we do in real estate. And there's no end in sight. Be honest. It's exhausting. You love it. But wouldn't you like to have a chance to get out of the rat race, to make a difference in other people's lives, not just your own. And the only way you make it here is by taking your eyes off yourself, helping somebody else. You got to help them. I didn't have to help them at Remax or Keller, but at eXp, if you're going to do this and get a lot of stock and revenue share, you got to help other people succeed. So I can't wait to meet you at one of our events, either coming up in Cabo or our build conference this summer, August 17th and 18th the 19th with Tony Robbins, because we are building a legacy. We are building a future, something you can be proud of something that is willable in perpetuity to your grandchildren's children. This is different and I can't wait to meet you.